universal practical knowledge, the ISUBK. The ISUBK, we are all across the world. In places like Los Angeles, places like Philadelphia, New York, uh, Texas, all across all across the country, even in countries like you, the, the, the United Kingdom, and Trinidad and Tobago, where brothers are out in the street, uh, out in the ghetto, in the barrio, teaching black people, Hispanics, and Native Indians, teaching those people the truth about who they are. And the truth is that we are the God's chosen people. We are the Israelites, according to the Bible. The people, the people that t t today who are on the bottom, who are destroyed, the people who nobody cares about, the people who go into slavery, people who go into prison, they are God's chosen people. And he and I, as you became, as a prophet and men of God, we come to bring our people back to their heritage as Israelites, back to their laws, statutes, and commandments. And it is, it is very important for our people to know and understand the, the, the inevitable, the inevitable and the undeniable truth that America is going to be destroyed. Right. Give me Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Everybody can see it. We all want to ignore it. We all want to just go walk down the street on Hollywood Boulevard. We always want to be tourists. We always want to go out and have a good time. But, but, but you cannot deny the fact that this country is coming to an end. Every time you turn on the news, what do you see? You see war. Every time you turn on the news, what do you see? You see assassination attempts. Every time you turn on the news, you see that the fabric of the society is tearing away. Even, even though that you want to focus, you, you want to focus on having fun. Well, all you care about is, is, is the weed you're going to smoke this, this weekend. All you care about is the liquor you're going to drink. All you care about is, 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 is some hope. But according to the Bible, this country is coming to an end. It is going to be destroyed. The, the, the time of America ruling the world is coming to turn over and will be over. Read that. This is the book of that Second Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Right now, we're, we're reading about the, day, the days of Christ coming back. Well, there's going to come a time when Jesus Christ, the great man that everybody, everybody claims to, to follow, everybody claims to worship, is going to come a day when Christ is going to return. Christ is going to return, and in that day, righteousness, righteousness will rule on the earth. On, on, on that day, we won't be ruled by child molesters and drug addicts. We, we won't be ruled by crooked politicians and, and, and pastors who, who take money from the poor. Take poor, uh, t take money from the elderly. And that day, we will be ruled righteously. Right. But, but something is going to happen, have to happen first. Before Christ can rule, before righteousness can come into, into this world, something, something has to go away. Something has to fall first. Read that. Done. And that man of sin be revealed. I was lucky. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Christ will not return until destruction comes. Christ will not return until the falling away comes. Christians talk about it all the time, talk about the rapture. They talk about Christ's return and Jesus Christ returning. If Christ came back today, do you think America would just pack up shop? If Christ came back today and said, yeah, I, I'm Christ, I'm here now, so come follow me. So, 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 so I guess, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, they're going to pack up shop and say, go ahead, Christ, you got it. No, they're gonna, a falling away is going to come first. A destruction is going come to could come to this place. Read on. And that man of sin be revealed. And that man of sin be revealed. And that's what we're seeing every day in this country. Every time you turn on the news, every time you pick up your phone, and scroll on Instagram, scroll on Facebook, you are seeing the man of sin, the man of evil being revealed. Go on news and look at America's political system that nobody has trusted anymore. Nobody, not a soul, trusting whoever's going to be the president, whoever's going to be the mayor. Not a soul trusting who's going to be the, who's going to be the police chief. Today in America, even though America seems so strong and powerful, nobody trusts it. Even Americans, even Americans don't trust the president. Even Americans d d don't trust their, 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 um, their, their, their police chief. Yeah. It, 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 even though America seems so powerful and strong, the man of sin is being revealed. Everybody knows, white, black, Asian, Chinese, whoever you are, you know that America is evil. Right. You know that Americans' politicians are evil. Right. You know that whoever you vote for really doesn't care about you. Whoever you vote for works for a corporation. 
but it doesn't work for the people. We understand it because the man of sin is being revealed. The man of sin is, be, is being revealed, and that is a sign that America is coming to an end. It's a sign that America is going to be destroyed because everybody understands that America is wicked. And everything against the Most High thrives in America. You want to be a drug addict? You can do it in America. We, 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 in, a, we in Cali, are we? You can smoke all the weeds you want, get good and high. So in some of these other states, uh, for farther north, I think in one of the cities of uh, Portland, I think uh, heroin is legal. Yeah, they, 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 they legalize all types of legalize all types of drugs. Because in this country, whatever is evil, whatever is against the Most High, thrives. You, you, you are turning on music. You're turning on the radio. Turning your iTunes. The, the biggest rappers. What are they talking about? Murder, drugs, having sex with another man's woman, uh, 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 buying, uh, buying prostitutes, being a pimp. Everything evil, everything wicked, everything against God, everything that destroys you is promoted in this country. Right. And, and those days are coming to an end. Right. The, the days of, of rich and powerful men being over top of us and being evil and being wicked to the poor is over with. Right. What, what's, coming to, what's coming to this world is righteousness. And righteousness will reign once America falls. Right. Once, once white society falls, that's when we have righteousness. Right. That's when we have a good sense of right and wrong. But, as, but, but, but until then, America is going to continue to pollute the earth. Read, read on, read on. The son of perdition, verse 4, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. Our, our oppressor, he, he opposes himself and he exalts himself above all that is that called himself God. Every power on the earth, even the Most High himself, he tries to put himself above God. How do I know that? I know that because I know that because for 400 years, my my people have been going to church and worshiping a white god, worshiping a white god because that white man puts himself up as God. So so even now today, when you think about God, when you think about Jesus, an image of a white man pops up in your head because your oppressor has put himself as God. He's exalted himself as God, like he's the creator, and that's why he's going to be destroyed. Because he's hidden, because he's hidden the truth from you, and he's lied to you. So he's going to be destroyed for that. Read from the top. Done. This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse four. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself as God that he is God. Give me Second Edges six, verse nine. Last one. One more. One more. We're going to get 2nd Edgerton 6 and 9. Once again, it's high time for black people, Hispanic people, Native Indian people to wake up. Because your time for rulership is coming. Right now, it might seem like a crazy idea. Right now, you may think that white people are going to rule forever. Right now, you may think that America is going to run on forever. But every empire has its end. Right. America is in the flame. America or the United States is in the first great empire. You had the Romans. You had the Babylonians, the Egyptians, the, uh, uh, great countries, great empires that ruled for a long time and they all fell. America is falling. America is falling. And in all those great countries and places like Babylon, Egypt, Rome, Greece, and all those great places, the Israelites were, were oppressed. Black people, Hispanic people, God chosen people all throughout history were oppressed in these great empires. And those empires were all destroyed. America is next. Right. America is next for its crimes uh, against black people, right. for its crimes uh, 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 against the Mexicans, right. for its crimes against the Native American Indian people. America is going to be destroyed and it's prophesied in the Bible from God. Read that. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is and who is Esau? When you read about Esau in the Bible, Esau was a man, when he was born, he was born red and hairy. Red and hairy. What, 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 what race of people, what nation of people have uh, a red skin? Or their blood shows forth to their skin? Those, those are so-called white people, or Europeans, because they have a lack of melanin, so you can see their blood through their skin. Read that again. For Esau is the end of the world. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of this, of, of this wicked society. Esau is the end of this wicked world. Right now, Esau is in rule. Our slave master is in rulership. But, 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 but when he is destroyed, the wickedness is over. 
Whiteness will rule. Who, and who's gonna rule? It's gonna be ruled by black people, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And, and, and that shouldn't be that crazy of an idea. Once again, do you think America is gonna run on forever? If you think that America is gonna be great forever, you are a fool. You are a fool. You don't understand. You don't understand. That you, you don't understand that America is living on borrowed time. A borrowed time, because once again, the Most High is going to destroy this country for its crimes. Yes. Read on. Karol Khan. Khan. For Esau is the end of the world, and, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So if America is going to be destroyed, if America is going to fall, what's going to happen after America is gone? Who's going to rule? If America is on top right now, what happens when America falls? What happens when the U.S. tanks and is destroyed? Who's going to rule? Read that last part again. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Jacob is the beginning of the new world. Jacob is the beginning of a new society, a society of righteousness. And once again, a society where men will have to be ruled by people like P. Diddy. People, men won't have to be ruled by people like Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Right. Evil, wicked leaders who only look out for themselves. Only look out for themselves and their own gain instead of supporting the poor. Instead right. of supporting the people that follow them. And that day we, we will have righteous rulership under the Most High, under Christ. And with that, and with that, I'm going to pass it over to the next prison officer. Shalom.